Where is it? Where is it? I can't find this thing, man. Where is it? I got it! What's up, what's up, it's your boy This Is Ace Live, back again to give you guys another awesome video. Today I will be giving you some advice on where you can find some Colombian women in Medellin. Truth be told, they're everywhere, alright, literally everywhere. You can just step outside and boom, you're overwhelmed with women. In fact, there's more women in Colombia right now, alright, I think it's maybe more than 200, 300,000 more women than there are men. So, needless to say, it's fairly easy for you to find Colombian women there and to socialize. You have a lot of opportunities and I know some of you guys are planning on traveling to Medellin and eventually some of you guys might retire there and are curious on my advice on where to go. Alright, if it's your first trip, I would think you would stay in the Parque Lleras area. Alright, and that area is a tourist area so you gotta understand like a lot of tourists go over there and they're always met with women in that area. So, they get used to being talked to and approached about, hey, what's up? <laughs> Where you from? You know what I'm saying? It's just a woman that works there and she gets it all the time. She's gorgeous and she gets it all the time. So, it might not be the best place for you particularly to meet someone. Not to say it can't happen, but for me to say if you're traveling there for like a weekend, it's not the ideal spot to go, alright? So, I will give you guys a couple, three um, ideas on where you can find Colombian women. First off, this one affects people who are actually in the States or out of the country of Colombia. The World Wide Web is one of the best and the t one of the top tools to connect with people all over the world. So of course I'm going to mention that as my first pick using the web. All right, You have social media like Instagram and Facebook where you can actually do pinpoint searches and there's several dating websites available like Badu, Tinder, and Latin American Cupid. I just recently did a review of Badu and it was hella lit. I had some of you guys call in and ask questions. So if you don't want to miss the next time I do it, just hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. When you hit the bell, you get notified. Needless to say, there's a couple of things I want you to know about connecting with people online. You should never give anybody your personal information. Never. I don't care how long you've been talking to that person for months. It does it not matter, guys. Don't give them your personal information. And I'm talking about like bank information, full name, all those things. I, I recommend you not even um, registering on the website with your full name. If you could put a different name, that would be key. Another thing, guys, you should never, ever send any form of money to anybody. Especially if you never met them, all right. I'm looking out for your best interest, man. Don't ever do that. Well, regardless of how attractive you may be to that person, it's not best practices. And I know you might feel for that person, especially after you've been talking to that person for so long and you feel like you have a genuine connection, guys. I there's likelihood you might be getting catfish or being used, all right, or taken advantage. And I don't want that to happen to you. So the best thing is if the person really cares about you they will respect your wishes of not sending any form of money to them eventually you might get the opportunity of meeting that person in real life so here's some things you want to do all right if you get an opportunity let's say you do travel to Colombia Medellin and you finally get a day to meet them things I still want you to do like invite them back to your hotel room not maybe not to come into your room but to see if they can come to your hotel chances are if they come to your hotel room the hotel will have to verify their ID right that way if the hotel verifies their IDs you can really know who they are you know and see if they if they've been lying to you if you can't verify the ID that's a red flag guys don't be an idiot <laughs> you know what I mean? do not get hypnotized by how gorgeous this person is all right don't be an idiot be smart and I guarantee you in the long run it'll it'll make a lot more sense to you all right when you are approaching and presenting yourself you don't want to come off as an arrogant international person that thinks he's rich because he makes his currency stronger than the next currency you don't want to get like that guys and really the Colombian women do not feed off of that they hate that you know approach they hate that approach and when typically a guy with that approach 
doesn't know how to dress well, doesn't know how to talk well, uh, hygiene is terrible. You want to avoid all these different things, man. Come correct. Come correct like you're really trying to impress somebody. And trust me, it does get noticed, all right? So do not try to come off like that. If you come off like you're the type of guy that uh, has money or, you know, you can buy things and you're so you impress that person with the things you can get for them, a couple of things might happen. They don't want you, the girl might want you, or she does want you, but she wants you for what you can do for her. One day might come where you might not be able to help her out, and guess what? Everything drops. The relationship you have with that person was just a facade. It was fake. Alright, guys? So do not do that, guys. Guarantee. Save your money, alright? These women, if they're going to like you, you want a woman that likes you for yourself, your personality. How crazy you are! Another place I would recommend you guys going to is the mall, guys. Literally. You want to go to places, keep in mind, this is key. Go to places where women like to go. Alright? It is the known fact that women like to shop. So go to where they shop, <laughs> pretty pretty much, all right? Make sure you dress nice and everything. I'm a firm believer the way you dress is how you project yourself. If you dress like in a firm, cool way, like a smooth cast, you're going to get that type of reception. It's like, who's that smooth person walking around? Look how smooth he is. Look how smooth he is. You know what I'm saying? You want to get that type of reaction. Do not worry about that, the communication issue, all right? Just be prepared for it. Don't worry about it, all right? If a woman is taking her time to go over a conversation with you with a translator, there's a form of maybe some curiosity, and you can build off of that curiosity. All right, so you approach the woman and you ask her, "Where's the uh, movies at? You know, where's the theaters at?" And maybe she'll be like, "It's upstairs," and you ask her, "Does she want to come?" She might laugh, but that laugh you can build upon and get her number with. So, guys, off top, go to the mall, search. Yeah, you don't got to shop. You, you, well, you're shopping for women. <laughs> okay, I guess that's what you're shopping for. <laughs> if you're going to be in Medellin, Colombia, and pretty much anywhere in Colombia, they have this thing on Sundays called Ciclovia. I did a video about it. I'll leave it at the end. It's a day where they promote physical fitness. It's more for bicyclists. It has evolved to more than people riding bikes. A lot of single people come out and work out. And if you're staying in the Poblado area, they actually shut down a main road in, in the tourist area where you can go ahead and start jogging this is prime opportunity to become social with the locals there guys if you actually do decide to do cyclovia but go to santa fe mall and near that area right they have aerobics classes free aerobics classes in the daytime guys and listen it's really majority a bunch of women there okay and i actually did a couple of classes with them it was interesting to see how the women pretty much welcomed me there you know because i could tell i was an outsider but they want they were, they were so curious and you know the thing about when you have a bunch of women all in one place all of them want you know want to stand out how they stand out by talking to the outsider i went to one event and all the girls wanted to talk to me and i felt like a celebrity there they were just surprised to see me there and they were so curious and they were so inviting and they were just asking me you know questions and they were like encouraging me to go to the front and they were like hey oh you know we were actually doing the moves together you're talking about you know if you have you ever listen man have you ever seen aerobics class okay all right so yeah, it's it's a spot you want to go to. Sundays, guys. I gave you. I'm. It's too much game. I'm giving you. I'm, I'm out of here. Yes! One more spot I want to tell you about, guys. You might want to consider going to. Might want to go to the Metro Rail Station, guys. People commute every single day in Medellin, Colombia. For the most part, I've mentioned this plenty of times that when you get on a train, you can see a lot of views from the city. But not only from outside of the train, you'll see views. You'll see some views inside the train, guys. Here's the game. This is the idea. You go on the train and you act like you don't know where you're going. I don't care if you know where you're going. Just act like you don't know where you're going. Speak a little English or whatever language you have. And I guarantee you, you will stir up some form of of curiosity with the locals you know what I'm saying there's a lot of people that do speak English but never get the opportunity to speak it and here you come you in the train speaking English I don't know where to go and then this girl like is that guy speaking English hmm finally I get my opportunity to, to brush up on my English uh, let me help you let me it's prime opportunity for you to be social with the locals and maybe find out what's going on and not only that get a number 
there's a lot more information I can give you guys, but as you guys know, I give consultations, guys. If you want a consultation, check in the description below. Hit me up in my ear, man, and go, yo, Ace, I need a consultation, bruh. But I want to let you know, consultation is not free. Thanks for watching. If you have a topic that you want me to cover, leave a comment below. I do read the comments and I really appreciate them. You know what your boy got to do. I got to remind you. I got to remind you to always stay live. See you on the next video. I might have a live stream coming up, alright? So make sure you subscribe. Yeah!